is it an outfit or is she just skinny is a question a lot of people started to wonder about in the past year or so. But a variant of this question is emerging. That is, is it an outfit or is he just a man? I've seen a few posts about this, but honestly, the discussion around it is bare in comparison to the discussion around is it an outfit or is she just skinny? So here I am to talk about it. I want to take some time to look at some male fashion outfits that are largely considered good fits and put them on me to see if they still retain that title on a woman. Now I acknowledge that I am skinny, so that might lump in another bias factor, so do be aware of that. Now, since this is a fashion-related video, this video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. GlassesUSA.com is an online eyewear shop that has thousands of styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses, including in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, and designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Armani, and Gucci. I, unfortunately, am a blind human being, so I wear prescription contacts and glasses on the daily. The glasses that I'm wearing right now are actually from glassesusa.com and they fit great and they give me vision. I also got two pairs of sunglasses. These are the ones without prescription. I'll put them on. Wow. Something about putting these sunglasses on just makes me feel 10 times more of a badass. Here's a close-up of these glasses. I thought that they were really interesting and I like big glasses. Then I also got a pair of glasses for my sister and another pair of sunglasses with prescription. I left both of those pairs at my other home, but I asked my sister to take a video of them and I'll put that clip right now. GlassesUSA.com has tons of styles and colors, as well as specialty glasses such as sports glasses, safety glasses, kids glasses, and more. Most pairs can be ordered with prescription or blue light blocking coating, which I definitely need and I have them on these glasses right now, and I definitely recommend Anyone who uses technology a lot to get blue light on their lenses, um, it definitely decreases the strain that my eyes experience after reading hundreds of pages of readings on my laptop every week. Yay school! And the glasses quality is honestly on par with any other shop I've been to. They can do any type of prescription, single vision, bifocal, and progressive lenses, or personalized lenses if you need them. I've been using prescription contacts and glasses since grade six, and GlassesUSA.com definitely has the most affordable prices I've seen, especially for the huge variety that they have. The pairs are up to 70% off retail prices and I've literally seen pairs for like $30. Honestly, the price is the biggest pro for me because eyeglasses are so expensive sometimes. Being online makes it really convenient to browse through a lot of these styles from home and they even have this virtual try-on tool which can help you find the right pair for you. I use it when looking for my glasses and I found it pretty helpful. If you have no idea what to choose, they even have a quiz that you can take which takes about a minute to complete and it recommends pairs of glasses for you based on your face shape and needs. Of course, the virtual try-on and the quiz are still not the same as being able to physically try on your eyeglasses in a store, which is why GlassesUSA.com has free shipping and returns, a 100% money back guarantee, full refund within 14 days of delivery, no questions asked, and a 365-day product warranty. Oh, they also have contact lenses, and you get 20% off all brands, such as these ones here. I don't know how to pronounce some of them, so I'm not gonna try to say them. If you don't have your current prescription with you, GlassesUSA.com has a free app called Prescription Scanner, which you can scan your current glasses to help you figure out what your prescription is. Technology blows my mind sometimes, and when you're done, you can immediately start shopping on their their site. The links to their website are in my description box, so go check it out if you're on the hunt for some new eyewear. Now let's look at some outfits.
I think a precursor to this question of is it an outfit or is he just a man is when people start to realize that the term basic is primarily flung against women. I won't give a whole historical account on the term basic because there are already other videos that do that, but this is just one example of when being like other girls is made fun of, when the stereotypical femininity of the time is mocked, and it is socially acceptable to do so. But unlike the term basic, which anyone uses, I feel like for outfits, it's largely women who praise men for the bare minimum, but also women who judge the outfits of other women. It's often women who comment things like fashion king on a man wearing an oversized t-shirt, baggy jeans, and combat boots, but we call each other basic if we do the same. So why does it seem to be easier for a man to dress in a fashionable manner? For one, our standards as to what is fashionable or not are created by what others like us are wearing. And I think the standards for how women should present themselves are higher than the standards for men. Women are seen as objects of desire and their role is to be pretty, to compete for attention. It creates this feeling of needing to one-up the other. I think a really good example of this is formal wear. A man can have one black and white suit in his closet and be set for any formal event. He can wear that suit to every formal event he goes to and be considered as put together and fashionable looking. It does not matter that there are tons of other men who are dressed exactly the same as him. In some respect, they are already all equals. But a woman cannot have one staple dress which she uses for every formal event. No, no, a woman needs to have multiple dresses that she can wear, one for event A, one for event B, and only rewear a dress at event C if none of the attendees are the same as event A or B. Oh, and God forbid it be the same dress as another woman. Now that would be embarrassing. Why? Because it shows you are no longer unique. What a woman wears contributes more to her individual worth and identity than a man. It's almost as if there's this underlying assumption that to be a man already gives a base level of appeal. But when you are a woman, you have to put more effort to prove it. That is not to say that there are no beauty standards for men and that every man is treated equally. Of course not. It's just that when you are a woman, you have to put in more effort to prove your appeal or your individual unique worth. I think media and magazines only make this worse by constantly exposing women to unrealistic images of what they should look like. This really interesting read titled Fashion and the Homospectatorial Look talks about how women's fashion photography poses its women to look very appealing, quote, as sexually irresistible subjects, inviting its female viewers to consume the product by over-identifying with the image. The way that women are presented as desirable objects for or heterosexual men stands in tension with the female fashion industry's goal to make female consumers identify with the woman model they see. Presumably, the readers of these magazines are to desire to be the woman, not to have her. But it ends up creating this weird dynamic where women simultaneously envy, admire, and desire the fashionable women she sees in images. But since we can't all have her, we all compete to be like her. This competitive standard for women is paired with the rigidness of masculinity. I think because fashion still tends to be associated with femininity, it's more risky or scary for men to step out of old fashion rules. Now please do not think I am saying that all men's fashion is boring or that there are no admirable male fashion icons. Of course not. There are lots of male fashion outfits I've seen that I personally enjoy. It's just that for men, the range of looks that are considered fashionable is wide wider, and the degree to which they are fashionable is higher. For instance, this look right here can still look nice on a woman, but seeing it on a man is like an 8 out of 10, but on a woman, it's like a 6.7 out of 10. Like she could have done something more with her hair, her jewelry, it looks a little basic. It is a lot more revolutionary for a man to wear something that is more feminine than it is for a woman to wear something considered masculine. A man with nail polish, a skirt, or a crop top are placed on a fashion pedestal, though obviously this makes sense. Masculinity has yet to break the barriers of gendered fashion the way female fashion has, and that's because first and second wave feminism looked to men as the people women wanted to be equals with, so they decided to do things more masculine, such as 
just wearing jeans, baggy trousers, sneakers, and blazers in hopes of rising up here. Masculinity, though, has never felt the same need to be more feminine because there wasn't this inequality to prompt it. Anyways, standards for men's fashion is just generally lower, making it easier to surpass that bar. Now, I picked a few men's fashion outfits to recreate on myself and will decide if it is an outfit or if he is just a man. Okay, one of the staple men's outfits that I've seen is just a baggy t-shirt, baggy jeans, sneakers, and then maybe a tote bag. So that's what I'm going to put on first. Okay, is this not what they wear sometimes? Like a t-shirt and then some baggy sweats, a tote bag, and then sneakers that like match the color of their t-shirt. I don't know, I feel like I'm wearing my pajamas. <laughs> is this cute? Is it? I feel like it's not really a fit on me. That's just my opinion, obviously, but. I'll replace the pants with some jeans and see if maybe that elevates it. I changed into some jeans. Does this look better? I don't know, I feel like it doesn't look that good still on me. Like, okay, yeah, maybe kind of like a cute, very casual look, but for a man to wear this, it's like, Oh my gosh, fashion king. It's not that this look is ugly, but it's just that it doesn't hold the same power on me. Okay, I'm trying the tied sweater around shoulder thing that I see. Okay, I'm trying the tied sweater over shoulder thing that I've seen a lot on Pinterest for like male fashion. I don't know why I feel like awkward or I feel stupid. Like, did I not tie it properly? Is there a way to tie this without it looking stupid? How do they tie it? I feel like I look dumb. <laughs> Maybe that's just me being insecure or not being used to this. It looks fine in the Pinterest photos I saw on the guys, but I think it just doesn't work on me. I swear some girls would go crazy for this look if a guy wore it. The baggy flannel shirt, corduroy beige pants and like some docks, some combat boots. Oh my God, I'm looking so fashionable right now. Again, it's not like this outfit is like bad or something. It's just that I think I'm so used to seeing other women dressed so extravagantly that when I put this on, I feel so underdressed. And yet when I pass by men who wear this, I think that they are well-dressed better than other men. I'm doing the baggy hoodie with a little bit of the white t-shirt poking through at the bottom, baggy jeans, combat boots, and I even added like a little cap to try and make it less boring. Um, despite that, I still feel underdressed and I feel as though I would not be called a fashionable woman wearing this. I feel like I look, again, casual, comfy, nothing wrong with it, but not fashionable. Like a man wearing this is like, oh yes, these are the types of styles I like my man to wear. But I just look like I came out of bed and put on the comfiest clothing I could find. Now, obviously we still perceive fashion in a very gendered way. So sometimes the purpose of what an outfit is supposed to serve for a man is just not the same as a woman. For example, female fashion tends to be a lot more extravagant looking because it's like women are decorations. They're supposed to look pretty. They're supposed to look more presentable, hence the more extra outfits. But for men, you know, they don't want to look decorative. They don't want to look too much because then it's like, ooh, that's feminine. So to look put together, but in a more casual, simple way is what is considered well-dressed or fashionable for men. Of course, there are all these other factors that play into it, such as whether that man you're looking at is attractive. You know, do you like his outfit or do you just like his face or his body? I think I'm just gonna stop rambling about my thoughts now here. Sorry for all the background noise. Um, I recently moved to downtown Toronto, so it's always loud here. Again, if you want some awesome glasses or sunglasses, you can check out glassesusa.com. The link to their website is down in my description box. You can go check it out there. Again, these are just my opinions. Perhaps I don't find these outfits fashionable just because that's not my taste. I could be totally wrong. I respect your opinions, so leave a comment if you want. Thank you so much for watching. Let's keep talking and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.